of the things I found um, in taking over leadership of the mission is that maritime ministries are among the best kept secrets in the world. Most people didn't recognize actually what goes on, how our products get to market, who the people are that work on the ships. Um, they're invisible, very much under the radar. So one of my skills is marketing and sales. And so I started to go out and tell the story. And we probably raised our visibility 10,000%, some extraordinary number, because I go out and speak at churches and at civic groups and at men's groups and explain to them what our ministry is about. And it's about service, it's about taking care of seafarers, it's about offering them friendship and a relationship. It's about making sure they get to the doctor or get to shopping and then back to the ship on time. Um, the, the explanation for that, the, the ability to communicate to people that seafarers are real people with real stories um, is an important part of marketing. So I view myself as somebody marketing the organization. Also, I helped us put together a real budget with real goals that made it easy to explain to potential donors and volunteers what our needs were. And one of the weaknesses, I think, of many nonprofits, especially religious nonprofits, is the leadership believes that people get it. You know, you just tell me, tell them that I'm taking care of poor people, or I'm taking care of seafarers, and people will understand that, but they don't. You need to give them real life examples. You know, at our ministry, we take care of nearly 20,000 people a year. We go on board with emergency fares and take Wi-Fi and cell phones and, and, and uh, phone cards so they can communicate with their families. 7,000 people used those services last year. But you know, it's not about 7,000 people. It's about the one guy who called home and talked to his mother after his dad died. It's about the guy who Skyped home and saw his baby for the first time. It's for about the guy from India who's talking to his 14-year-old daughter about her math class. You know, I mean, each one of those 20,000 people we talked to, 7,000 people on board the ship, 10,000 um, cruise ship employees, you know, the, the thousand to 1,500 that come to our place, the thousand or 2,000 that we transport from the merchant ships. I mean, each one of those is an individual story. And as a business person, I recognize that customers and clients and vendors aren't some big group of people with number in the thousands. They're individuals who have to interact with us in a very uh, specific way. And so that's an important lesson in communicating to donors and communicating to potential volunteers and communicating to the community that, that this is what the life is about. So I think, I think business people are really well suited to tell the story.